No, I mean, three seed is obviously a great seeding. Much, I mean, two seeds higher than last year, so there can't be any complaints. While we were hoping, while we were hoping for a higher seed, you know, you get what you take. And I mean, I think, I think we're in a good bracket where, um, as you saw, some people picked us to go far. So, I think, I think our chances are good to go down the go down the road. Yeah, obviously you just heard that they're an Ivy League team, and but I haven't seen them play all year, so I really know nothing about them. Yeah. Now, for you guys, does it really matter who you play? Do you change much because of the opponent? I mean, we're always going to have a different game plan based on how they play, but in the end of the day, it's just just about us. You know, we've got to play our defense, play our offense, regardless of the way they play or match up against us. So. It's really more about us than them a lot of the time, but at the same time, we've got to have a game plan going into it. Yeah, talk about how at the start of the season, this is supposed to be a four-guard lineup. It's supposed to be up and down. And it changed when you and Alex started playing better. Yeah. It's just evolved probably beyond anyone ex anyone's expectations. Let's talk about your guys' progression this year. Uh, you know, obviously, as you said, there was a lot of expectations on the guards more than the bigs. Um, in terms of the, yeah, that four guard lineup, um, which we started with, and having lost Drew and AJ, uh, the bigs weren't expected to be doing as well as we have, I think. But as you said, we've just been playing uh, good together down the stretch, and I think me and Alex do a good job just playing together. We know each other's strengths and weaknesses, and he's able to step out on the floor and make a lot of plays. Very skilled big man, so it's really easy to play with him. Are you surprised at how easily the, from a distance it seems like the, it's been a seamless progression for you? Are you surprised at all about the way it's going? Uh, not really surprised, but at the same time, it wasn't expected. You know, we didn't know, and you just got to take it by year. And each game that comes along, you've got to take it as a new game, new challenge. So, really, it's just up to us to continue moving forward. If you guys go far in the NCAA, is it going to be on defense? Is, is that what you're going to win games with? I think so, because you're going to have off game, uh, off nights offensively. And our defense has been our one staple for most of the year. We did stuff up against Air Force, uh, giving them the amount of points that they scored against us. But the main part, our defense has been the one that has won us the majority of our games. There's a lot of pressure with going into the NCAA tournament to make a noise, not only for this program, but for the entire conference. Because it seems like there's a lot of attention in the Mountain West this year, but yeah. now is the chance to prove it. Do you guys feel any added pressure because of that? Not really pressure. As you said, we haven't got a lot of national attention. We haven't got a lot of recognition as you would call it so we don't see that as pressure we see that as a challenge and a chance i mean we've got that chip on our shoulder the fact that we haven't gotten that attention and the conference hasn't either so i'm sure a lot of a lot of teams in the conference are really playing with that chip on their shoulder and looking to go out and impress so you had two of these experts predict that you guys are going to the final four what's your reaction to that a bit of surprise you know i never heard that doug golly had rated us very high on his radar so that was a bit of a surprise there uh, Seth Davis has always been uh, very supportive of the program. So, but as, you, as as I said, I think it just shows that I mean we've got a good chance to do it. And um, I mean it doesn't really mean anything at the end of the day, but it shows that I mean some people do believe in us. When, when you came here, did you have any idea about the NCAA tournament? What a big deal it was. Yeah, I mean I had a fairly good understanding. That was a main thing we saw back home was the NCAA tournament we follow that pretty constantly so most of the games we saw were from the NCAA tournament and they did a better job covering it back home and since St. Mary's they've been doing so well they've been televising more games so we didn't have a good understanding of it but I think I didn't really realize how big of an impact it has on American lives and how big a deal it is over here. And for you guys, I mean NCAA, do you really care? The whole idea that you have to play the same way against Harvard or Gonzaga or whoever as you do anybody else. I mean, obviously, as I said, we're going to have different matchups and we're going to have to adjust the game plan accordingly, whether we're playing against good bigs, good guard play, and what have you. So, in the end of the day, we really do have to pay attention to the scout, but it really does matter if we just focus on ourselves and play our style of the game.